Phil Fulmer compares Jeremy Pruitt to Johnny Majors? Um, athletic director Fulmer. I knew John Majors. I interviewed John Majors. John Majors was a friend of mine. Athletic director Fulmer. Pruitt is no John Majors. Hi, everybody. I'm Marky Bilson. And yes, John Majors. I mean, I know Johnny Majors when he was a halfback at uh, Tennessee and for that matter, the Montreal Alouettes and so on. But as he got older, uh, he didn't learn. Uh, I should say he didn't learn from me, Marky Bilson. He kind of let the Johnny Majors go. And I know in his second stint at Pitt, for instance, his name played on his desk said John Majors. So I've always called him John Majors uh, in respect to that. But nevertheless, uh, yesterday, Phil Fulmer compared Jeremy Pruitt to Johnny Majors, uh, suggesting that Majors also struggled in his first three years at the helm of the Tennessee Volunteers football team. And to a certain extent, that's correct. Uh, but here's the deal. He compared their records after 30 games. Only one problem. Pruitt's been the head coach for 32 games. Not 30, and Pruitt's record is 15 and 17. That includes all the victories against the FCS competition, the UABs, all of that. Uh, Majors was 15, 16, and 1. He actually was a half game better after 32 games at Tennessee, but you got to remember this. He inherited a down program, so did uh, Pruitt, but the facilities really weren't up to snuff when he got to UT. The best way that I can explain this is look at the stadium expansion to 100,000 seats. That occurred under Majors. And right now, Tennessee is very much, you know, their facilities, that's not a problem right now. Might be for Vanderbilt, you know, it's not for UT. It goes down to who's running the show and the very philosophy, and it really shows how desperate Phil Fulmer is to start using John Majors as an example, because the two individuals, Fulmer and Majors, hated each other. I know that Fulmer was an assistant coach under Majors for, I think, a dozen years, but Majors looked at Fulmer as a backstabber. He spoke of, well, he didn't publicly speak of this, but the Knoxville News Sentinels did talk about 26 phone calls that were made in 1992 by Fulmer to a prominent Tennessee booster, basically saying, give me the job, give me the job, give me the job, and he got the job. Majors never, ever ever forgave Fulmer for that. To the point where three years ago, when Fulmer became the athletic director at Tennessee, his quote was that, well, I'll still root for the players and I'll still root for the university. Who the AD is, uh, not so important. To the point when the Battle of Bristol occurred in 2016, Majors didn't go to it. He went to Pitt Penn State. To the point where when I interviewed Johnny Majors in, well, Johnny now, when I interviewed John Majors, or Johnny if you prefer, in 2000, Majors would not refer to Fulmer by name. He would only call him my successor. And Phil Fulmer is now, who, who never used to champion majors. He would always separate himself from that era. He would always separate himself from that. And now he's comparing Pruitt to majors? Folks, that's the act of a desperate man. And you've got to understand this. Fulmer is a little over his head as AD. I'll give you an example. The modern athletic director is not old coach. There's only one other major college you'll find who has the former successful football coach as their athletic director. I know that used to happen all the time. It doesn't happen anymore. That university, by the way, Barry Alvarez in Wisconsin. Okay. And I, you know, so that's worked well, but that was a higher, you know, years and years and years ago too. I mean, Alvarez has kind of been grandfathered in the modern athletic director is generally a numbers cruncher. He's a guy who finds out how can I make money for the athletic department, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, how can I promote the brand, this sort of thing. Anyway, I, it's got, this was just an awful, Awful comparison, and it shows you how desperate that Fulmer is, just to reiterate that. Uh, and it goes to say, how will UT, 
which is well on its way to its eighth losing season of the past 13, ever going to restore past glories. There's a very good chance after all this time they're not. But it would be to embrace modern change. I think with all the money that they still have, they should be on the forefront of paying players. Look, why did the Lady Vols win back then? Oh, well, it's because, uh, you know, Pat Summers is a great coach. Yes, but really it's because Tennessee was ahead of the curve in Title IX. They were giving money to the women's basketball program that other schools weren't. That's why when Tennessee was a dominant player in women's college basketball, they were beating up on Louisiana Tech and Old Dominion. They weren't beating up on Notre Dame and South Carolina and Connecticut. All right? I mean, smaller schools is what uh, Summit beat up on. And to, you know, compare Fulmer, for Fulmer to compare Pruitt to Majors, like I said, just shows to how desperate he really is. Now, also in Tennessee news, Kevon Bennett, linebacker leading the team in tackles for loss, kicked off the team. Can't say that I blame him. He was arrested for drug charges, had about five dozen baggies of marijuana, it looks like, had a handgun in the car. They said that he was going to uh, intend to sell the marijuana. Okay, real nice uh, citizen right there. So Bennett's off the team. I applaud that move. But I also ask this. Why was it that when Juan Jennings, a couple of years ago, and admittedly this was during the Butch Jones era, but remember, Pruitt reinstated Jennings onto the football team despite that drug arrest. What about Bryce Thompson, who threatened to shoot up the school last year and slap the mm, out of his girlfriend? Well, he was back just as soon as Tennessee decided they needed his service at defensive back. What about calling to uh, the arrest of Jeremy Banks silly to the arresting officers as it was being made? What about that? What about Ken George pleading guilty to battery of a police officer and staying on the Tennessee Volunteers football team. I'll tell you what it's all about. Tennessee's going to go 3-7 and seven this year, whether or not Bennett's on the team or not. So now you can instill discipline. Those other four players, they could still use them. Last thing I want to say about the Vols, there's a big story that no matter what their record is, they'll accept a bowl bid. And yeah, even at 3-7, and seven, there's a chance Tennessee could get a bowl bid. Be very embarrassing, but the Bulls know that fans will come out to see them under, no, under any circumstance, that sort of thing. So, hey, could be another bowl game for Tennessee because you know a lot of teams that will be more worthy of a bowl bid will just turn them down. You know, too much uh, risk of getting sick, not enough uh, payout, that sort of thing. A bowl game at three and seven. Is there no end to the self degradation of the Tennessee Volunteers? Folks, I tell it like it is. I'm Marky e. Bilson. Until next time.